Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. So today slash all this week, I'm finally back with another one week, one palette. I know, I know it's been a while. These videos are just a little bit harder for me to film, especially with my schedule and all of that. But I took a look at my schedule of this whole week and decided, I think you can do it, Emily. I think you can. So we're going to be playing with this beautiful palette right here, the Natasha Denona Love Palette. Stunning. I cannot wait. I am so, so excited. Before we get started, don't forget to upload every Tuesday, Thursday, Sunday for you guys. If you like this video while you're watching it, please go ahead and give it a big thumbs up. It really does help my channel out. And other than that, if you are excited and you want to see five different looks with the Natasha Denona Love Palette, then let's go ahead and get started. So I had asked on my community tab which palette you guys would rather see first. This one right here, the Love Palette or the BH Cosmetics Smitten in Switzerland Palette. And I'm not going to lie, the BH Palette did win. However, A, it only won by a tiny bit. As of right now when I am filming this, it was 52% for the BH Palette versus 48% uh, for the Love Palette. And that is like not that big of a difference. Also, I just really, really wanted to play with this beauty this week. I'm just feeling, I'm just feeling this palette a lot more. I'm feeling a little bit more inspired by this palette in this current moment. And I knew if I forced myself to use the BH palette instead of the Love palette, I'm sure it would have been fine and I would have liked my looks and all that, but I just, I don't know. I probably would have been a little bit more harsh on the looks that I made and I wouldn't, I don't know. I just wouldn't have been feeling it as much as I am this palette, if that makes any sense. So I still plan on doing a one week one palette with the BH Cosmetics Smitten in Switzerland palette, just not quite yet. I'm sorry, but that was really what you were looking forward to. One day it'll happen. So for day one with the Love palette, I think I'm just going to start off with this Valentine shade right here and put it into my crease. So this is just a really beautiful light pink shade that I really, really enjoy. It's pretty much the only like transition shade I can use in this palette or like shade I can use as a transition shade, if that makes sense. Okay, next I wanna take this really like, I don't know, deep red kind of shade, it's called Heart. And I wanna pack that on the lid and put it all up in the crease as well. I don't think I've ever used this shade. I think this is my first time using it. I did go ahead and prime my eyelids with my MAC Paint Pot like I normally do. So I'm just trying to pack this on. It's getting a little bit patchy, but I'm just going to try to build it up. I'm going to go in with a different type of brush. I don't know if that brush is packing it on as much as I was wanting it to. Maybe we're going to use my finger. <laughs> there we go. Maybe that's the way to go. I don't know. I usually don't have to pack on mattes with my finger, but... I guess I am putting it all over the lid. I'm gonna go in with like a domed round brush and put that in my crease. I'm gonna go back into Valentine and really buff this out. Um, I don't know how I'm feeling about this. I really wanted to keep this like an all matte look, but I'm not loving this. I don't know if I want to add a shimmer on top. I really didn't want to, or should I add like a liner? Maybe I'll add a little bit of liner with this deep commitment shade right here, um, just to give it a little bit more something, something. This is one of her cream to powder formulas. I haven't had the best luck with this in the past um, in the Zendo palette, but let's give it a go with this one. I don't know if I've used this shade either. Hmm. Okay. I'm not, <laughs> great way to start off the week, Emily. I'm not loving this, but I do think once I get all the rest of my makeup done and I'm probably gonna end up putting Valentine on my lower lash line and I think what I wanna do is use this blind shade right here, this silver as my inner corner highlight to do like a little cool pop. Uh, so yeah, I think I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Finish up my makeup, you know the drill, do the other eye, finish up my makeup and I will come back with it all completed. And I'm, if I had to guess, I'll probably end up liking this eye look when it's, everything is done. Hopefully, we'll see, be right back. All right, guys, and here is the final look for day one. It was a wild ride to get here. I'm not going to lie. I don't dislike this eye look. I don't dislike this whole makeup look. It just took some finagling and work to make it look the way it looks right now. 
I actually got this eye look idea from Samantha March. She talks about this palette quite often on her channel and she said one of her favorite looks to make with this palette is just putting this heart shade all over her lids. And I do like how it looks. It just, like I said, it took some finagling and a lot of blending and packing on to make it look the way it does. And I still feel like it is a tiny, tiny bit patchy. I did end up doing what I told you I was going to do. I did the Valentine on my lower lash line and I did end up putting this blind shade as my inner corner highlight and I like immediately regretted my decision, immediately regretted my decision. It was just too dark. So I ended up having to put the ColourPop Flexitarian highlight on top to lighten it up and it's still a little deep and dark, but I was trying to do something new <laughs> and here we are. I don't think it looks terrible. Also, I did end up adding a winged liner with the Maybelline Tattoo Studio uh liquid ink liner in the shade black terrible terrible liner i do not recommend at all and i will never use this again it was very hard to use the applicator just bunches up and gets a lot of product on it but yet dries out very quickly and it is shiny 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 like one of the shiniest black eyeliners i have used so don't recommend never using this again but the rest of my makeup was my smashbox primerizer i also put my tarte Timeless Smoothing Up Primer in my T-Zone. Foundation is my Synchro Skin Self Refreshing and then my Hourglass Vanish Concealer. I set under my eyes with my Jaclyn Brightening and Setting Palette and then the rest of my face was my ABH Loose Setting Powder. For bronzer, I went ahead and used my Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Bronzer. I love this stuff. For blush, I used my M Cosmetics Heaven's Glow Blush in the shade Venetian Rose. I thought it looked really, really perfect with the eye look. For highlight, I used my Nabla Ozone, one of my faves. I love it so, so much. For mascara, I used my Tarte Man Eater. And I swear, I swear this liner got like in my lashes and made this get like super clumpy and made my lashes just look funky. I love this mascara. I love it every time I use it. And today I just feel like it's not doing much for my lashes. And my lashes look extra clumpy and I swear it's that liner. For lips, I used my Charlotte Tilbury Lip Cheat in the shade Pillow Talk and then my Natasha Denona I Need a Nude Lipstick in the shade Beatrice on top. And then uh, oh, for brows, I used my M Cosmetics Fine Aligner Brow Pencil in Light Taupe and also her Micro Fluff Sc Sculpting Brow Cream in the shade Universal Taupe. And then lastly, I'm pretty sure I finished it off with my Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray. So that was the rest of the items I used on this look. Yeah. This was all. This was all for day one. I like it. I like it in the end, but it's interesting. And I pro I'm probably never going to remake this eye look. <laughs> Not gonna lie. But that was it for day one. I will see you in a second for day two. Alrighty, we are back for day two with my love palette. I think I'm gonna stick with the purples today. I think I'm going to start off with Dream right here and put that into my crease. This is one of her cream to powder formulas, which I'm not gonna lie, not my favorite formula. I just feel like each time I use this, I really, really struggle with it. Maybe I'm just not using the right sort of brush with it. Maybe I need a denser brush. I really don't know. Oh, that shade's looking really pretty, a little patchy, but pretty. I think I just need to build it up. I'm gonna put it on my lid because I'm gonna put a shimmer over it anyway, so it really doesn't matter. <laughs> I really like the tone, like the undertone of this purple shade. It's like a true purple with like a little hint of lilac-y kind of lavender. It's really pretty. I'm gonna go in with a little denser of a brush. All right, so that's looking good. I'm next gonna take this Trust shade up in the corner and just put it a little bit into the crease just to deepen it, give it a little dimension. All right, now I'm gonna take my NYX Glitter Primer and put that all over my lid. And I'm gonna take this Pure Love shade and just stamp that all over the lid. It's gonna be another really simple eye look. <laughs> I don't know if you're going to be able to tell on camera, but this Pure Love shade has like a really beautiful blue reflect to it. So it's really dimensional, like purple and blue and a little bit of pink. And it's a really, really pretty shade. I think that is where I'm going to leave the eyes though. I know, very simple, only a couple of shades. That's kind of my jam. But yeah, I'm going to leave the eyes there for now. I'm going to go finish my makeup and I'll be back to show you the finished look in a second. And here is the final look for day two. All I did to finish up the eyes was I ran that dream shade along my lower lash line and then I did put ColourPop Flexitarian as my inner corner highlight. I do really like how this look turned out. It's very simple but pretty. I feel like it looks like I put more time into it than I did. However, this Pure Love shade, the shimmer on my lid, it's having like a lot of fallout down onto my face, like glitter fallout. And even though I use glitter glue, so. That's just kind of a little annoying, but it's very 
reflective and sparkly and pretty. So I can't be like too mad at it, you know what I mean? So for the rest of my makeup, I use my Smashbox Photo Finish Primerizer for my foundation. Uh, by the time this video is up, you guys already know that I have decided to leave it teaching and I got a part-time job at Ulta. And while we are working our whole entire shift, we have to wear our masks. So what I feel like is the best under a mask is the MAC Studio Fix Powder Foundation. I have the shade N3. I love this stuff. I literally have been through a million compacts of this and I will like never not buy this. Uh, for uh, Before I put that on, actually, I put on a little bit of the Kosas Revealer Concealer and just spot conceal it and put some under my eyes. For bronzer, I use my Marc Jacobs Omega Bronzer in the shade Tantastic. For highlight, I use my MAC Soft and Gentle. Blush is my ColourPop Night Bloom Powder Blush. This is like pretty much the blush I use with every purple eye look. For mascara, I use my Tarte Man Eater. For brows, I use my M Cosmetics Brow Duo that I used yesterday. For lips, I used my Kaja. This is like their mini glossy shot gloss. It came in a set of two, but this one is in the shade Rosy Mocha. I didn't do anything else because honestly, I'm not done getting ready for work. I'm filming this before one of my shifts. Um, I still need to like go eat breakfast and all of that. So I'm going to take this off like right away, but I wanted to have a little something, something on my lips when I came on. And then I think the last thing is my uh, setting spray and I use my Urban Decay All Nighter. Again, I have to wear a mask. So I'm trying to make it mask proof and make it like last all day. It doesn't, but it's fine. It's not the end of the world. I literally keep it on the whole time anyways, and then I come home to Mike, so he doesn't care. But yeah, what do you guys think? I really like it. I like the purpley tone and all of that. So that was it for day two. I will see you in one second your time, but a day my time for day three. See you then. Alrighty, we're back for day three. I'm going to go ahead and start with Valentine right here and put that into my crease. I'm going to do a really simple, basic pink eye look today. Uh, right after my shift today at Ulta, I am meeting up with Mike and we are having a dinner with the CEO of his company. So, <laughs> and a couple other uh, project managers. My husband is a computer engineer, but he's project manager also, if that makes any sense. So he, um, yeah, so he got invited to a dinner with the CEO of his company. And I'm like, oh my goodness, that's pretty important. And also I don't want to have like a crazy eye look <laughs> for that. So. I don't mind to like wear color in situations like that as long as it's, you know, the type of eye look and color combination that I feel comfortable in. <laughs> okay, next we're going to take this intense shade and then we're also probably gonna take Soul uh, and we're just going to put that in the crease in the outer corner. I'm gonna start with intense and then if I need to deepen it, which I probably will, I'll go into Soul. And definitely pink is a color that I feel pretty confident in. Yesterday, I got a couple of compliments at work on my eye look <laughs> that I wore that I did for yesterday's portion of the video. So I was pretty pumped about that from one of my coworkers and then a couple customers. <laughs> I was like, yeah, thanks. <laughs> it always feels so good to get complimented on your makeup when you like it and, you know, spend time on it. Okay, I'm going to go into Soul now and just kind of deepen it up, especially focusing it on the outer corner. Back in with Valentine. Next, I'm just gonna take my glitter primer and put it on like the inner half of my eyelid and we're gonna take this giving shade and put it on. And that's pretty much it, guys. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> it's a very, very simple eye look, but it's one that I feel confident in. I think it looks pretty. I think it looks like I, you know, tried a little bit harder than I did, which is my favorite type of eye looks. So I'm gonna go do the other eye, finish my makeup, and I'll show you the final result in a second. And here's the final look for day three. So all I did to finish up the eyes was I mixed together Valentine and Intense right here and ran that along my lower lash line. So for the rest of my makeup, I went ahead and used my Smashbox Primerizer and my MAC Studio Fix Powder Foundation again because again, I am going to work and we have to wear a mask the whole time. So I'm definitely bringing most of this stuff in a little to go back to touch up my makeup before the dinner though. Don't you worry, not that you probably were, but just in case you were. <laughs> also again, before the powder foundation, I went ahead and used my Kosas concealer to spot conceal like yesterday. Then for the rest of my makeup, I used my e.l.f. Primer Infused Bronzer in the shade Forever Sunkissed. Then my Cover FX Monochromatic Blush Duo in Pink Dahlia. I figured this shade would match like perfectly with the pink eye look and I think it matched pretty good, I'm not gonna lie. Then for highlight, I used my Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlight in Blossom Glow Pink Eye Look. 
pink highlight. You guys knew that was probably coming. Then for mascara and Tarte Man Eater, I did go ahead and run my Makeup by Mario uh, Master Matte Brightening Pencil in my waterline. Same M Cosmetics brow duo that I've been using the past a couple of days. My lips, I really like them. They're really cute, but I'm going to have to take them off anyways because the mask and I just use Burt's Bees Pomegranate Chapstick all day at work because... Why, why bother? Anyways, but for my lips, I went ahead and used my Becca Ultimate Lip Definer in Toasty and then put on this Fenty Gloss Balm in the shade Ruby Milk. It's one of the minis that I bought a while ago. I don't think that I had reached for this yet, and it is beautiful. I mean, I know I have that liner underneath, but why did I ever question a Fenty Gloss? I just thought that this looked so bright and bold in the tube. I was like, I'm not going to like that, but it's stunning. Then lastly, for setting spray, I went ahead and used my Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush, a flawless setting spray to lock it all in. So here we go. What do you guys think? I actually really, really like it. I think it turned out really beautiful. It is exactly the simple pink eye look that I was going for. I'm hoping tomorrow I can dive into that deep, dark commitment shade and then that like blind silver shade. I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. But that is all for me for day three. I will see you in a second for day four. We are back for day four. And we're going to go a little deeper, smokier, sultry today. I'm really hoping the look I have in mind turns out cute. We shall see. So we're going to start off with Valentine and we're going to put that into our crease. This look is not going to be pink centered at all, but I do want a little bit of a transition shade down before we go in with the deeper shades. Alrighty, so next we're going to take this trust shade up here and we're going to also put that into the crease. In case you were wondering, the dinner last night with Mike's co-workers and like the CEO of his company and the president, it was also the president, it went really well. It was actually a lot of fun. Just in case you were wondering. <laughs> so this trust shade is really pretty. It's just, I don't know, man, it's a little patchy, which I know purples are really hard to formulate, so I kind of understand. But then also I don't because it's Natasha Denona and I feel like at this point, even when she's created so many you know, eyeshadow palettes and eyeshadow formulations that I feel like she should have it down pat, but it's fine. I mean, it's fine. It's just a little patchy. I'm gonna go back into Valentine and just really make sure this is not a harsh line. Okay, so now what I want to do, this is the part I'm a little nervous for, but what I want to do is kind of like a halo eye and I wanna put Commitment on the inner and outer portion and then blind in the middle. Commitment is a cream to powder formula, which I'm not gonna lie, I really struggle with from her. So we'll see how this goes. I am going to take my NYX glitter primer and put it all over my lid and see if that helps at all with anything. <laughs> but yeah, in the past, I've really struggled with her cream to powder formula. And I'm going to take like a dense packer brush and we're just going to put that commitment shade on the inner and outer portion. And then really quickly before my glitter glue dries, I'm going to put blind right in the middle and then we will go back in and like further blend and all of that. I'm going to get commitment on a little bit of a fluffier brush. I don't think her cream to powders work really well on a fluffy brush, but I want to just diffuse this out. I am getting quite a bit of fallout if you could see, but I don't mind. That's why I do my eyes first. And I'm going to take a little bit of commitment up into the crease as well. I'm going to go back in with Trust, that deep purple. And then Valentine one more time. And then just to re-emphasize that blind shade in the middle, we're just going to tap a little bit more over. You know what? I actually really like that. And this is exactly like the look I was envisioning in my mind. So I'm glad. It's always so nice when you picture a look in your mind and it turns out looking good in reality, if that makes any sense. So I'm, I'm liking it. I'm liking it. I'm going to go ahead and do the other eye, rest of my makeup. I'll be back in a second. And this is the final look for day four, you guys. I feel like a cool tone grunge goddess queen. I am loving how this turned out. Like, literally loving it. I think this eye look is so pretty. Is it like an everyday, like, go-to eye look for me? No, definitely not. But this is so fun. I freaking love this. 
So all I did to finish up the lower lash line was I put this Trust shade on uh, with like a little skinny defining brush and then just blended it out with this Valentine shade. I did put ColourPop Flexitarian on the inner corner. Anytime you see my inner corner popping like this, it's always gonna be ColourPop Flexitarian. For the rest of my makeup, I went ahead and went in with my ColourPop Pretty Fresh Hydrating Primer and Pretty Fresh Hydrating uh, Foundation. I hadn't used this combo in a while and it's a good one. Then for concealer, I used my Haley's Beauty Rewind Blurring Full Coverage Concealer. I then set my under eyes with my Jaclyn Cosmetics Brightening and Setting Palette, and then the rest of my face with my ABH uh, Loose Setting Powder. For bronzer, I used my Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Bronzer. For blush, I didn't want to use two, but I did. I went in with my Pat McGrath Flirtatious Blush first, and it just was I don't know, a little, I thought it was going to be more neutral tone than it did, but for some reason today it showed up, I don't know, kind of peachy on my cheeks. So then I ended up going in with the Essence Befitting Blush instead. This is a little bit more mauve toned. Um, I'm still not fully loving the blush with the eye look, but it's okay. It's not the end of the world. For highlight, I went in with my Natasha Denona Super Glow. I wanted a really icy highlight with this look, and I definitely think that that provided it for me. For eyebrows, the same duo I've been using all week. Can't stop, won't stop. I love it. My Tarte Man Eater Mascara. I needed a really like voluminous, poppy mascara with this eye look, I feel like. And I, Man Eater is like the only mascara that does that for me. Honestly, this look could use some faux lashes, some false lashes, but I just like never wear false lashes. So yeah. For setting spray, I went in with my ColourPop All Star. This is the setting spray that like will not end. I've been trying to use this up forever. And I am like really close to the bottom if you can tell, but one day I will finish this up. And then for this cool tone nude brownie dream of a lip combo, oh my goodness. I have on my ColourPop Cool BFF lip liner and then on top of it, the NYX This Is Milky Gloss in the shade uh, Milk Cookies and Milk. This combination, if you need a cool tone nudie leaning on the brown side combo, both of these together, mm, I am loving this combo. I'm loving it so, so much. I'm not gonna lie, this might be my favorite look so far of the four days. I don't know, we'll have to wait and see what tomorrow brings. I don't know what look I will be doing tomorrow. I guess we will find out tomorrow, but I am loving this look so, so much. But that was it for me for day four. So you know the drill, I'll see you in a sec for our fifth and final day. Okay, but how is it the fifth day already? I don't understand. I feel like these weeks, whenever I do these one week one palettes, they just fly by, they fly by. Uh, today, I think we're going to get into the couple of golds in this palette. I haven't used them yet this week. And I was looking down at the palette yesterday after I finished my look, and I think I'm going to be able to use every single shade in here for you, except for first, which is just like a cream matte shade, which I really don't use these shades very often in palettes anyways. And then this passion shade down here, which looks like a really beautiful, like maroony sort of shimmer shade. But I just, I don't know. I just don't think I'm going to be able to use that one for you, but I think it's okay, hopefully. Um, so I'm gonna start off with Valentine, put that into my crease. I've actually thoroughly enjoyed using this palette all this week. I really, really do love this palette a lot. I think it has a beautiful color story. For the most part, the quality is there. I don't struggle too, too much with it. I mean, every once in a while I do a little bit, but every once in a while my eyes are just a little finicky. So is it my eyes? Is it the palette? I don't know. This is definitely a lighter pink. You have to build it up quite a bit. This is a three layers. Next, we're going to take this Soul shade down in the corner. It's just a little bit deeper and a little bit more mauve -y, and we're gonna put that on the outer portion and up into our crease as well. I was thinking about how I really need to wash my brushes. Oh, I hate washing my brushes. <laughs> I know everyone does, but man, I like extra hate it. So I really, really like this shade. I really like the undertone of it. It's just like the most perfect, like rosy pinky shade it's lovely it is getting slightly patchy if you can see nothing too terrible okay next we're going to take this heartbeat shade with a little bit smaller brush and do the same thing to deepen it up oh this shade is really pretty as well i'm telling you pink eyeshadow just has my heart <laughs> just love it so much i'm gonna go back in with valentine all right, so next I'm gonna take my glitter primer. I'm gonna put it on like the inner half of my lid. And what I'm hoping I can do, my eyes are small, so we'll see if this works out. I'm hoping I can put this lifetime shade towards the middle and then this 
transparent shade towards the like inner portion of my eyelid. Uh, they're both golds, but Lifetime is a little bit deeper than transparent. Again, my eyes are a little small. So we'll see if I have enough real estate for both of them. I should hopefully and not cover up too much of this pink on the outer portion. So I have transparent, which is a lighter one. And then lifetime, which is a deeper one. Ooh, that's pretty. I like the gradient between the two of those. Okay, and actually, since this is kind of harsh, I am going to go ahead and take that passion shade that I didn't think I was going to, going to be able to use for you guys. And we're just going to tap that like right here, just to mesh those two shades a little bit better together. Alrighty, I think I'm going to leave it there for now. I'm really glad that I was able to incorporate that passion shade and then use the golds for you guys because they are really, really beautiful shades and I hadn't gotten a chance to show them off yet this week. So I'm gonna go do the other eye and finish up my makeup and I'll come back and show you the final look. And here is the final look for day five. So we have a really beautiful pinky gold look. I'm not gonna lie. I really like how it turned out. To finish it up, all I did was ran a little bit of this soul shade like halfway through my under eyes and then smudged it out with this Valentine shade. My inner corner and brow bone highlight are my highlight. So the rest of my makeup, I use my Smashbox primerizer. I mixed together my Fiona Styles matte finish foundation and my Purito Seco Clearing BB Cream in the shade number 23 Natural Beige. Then I use my Kosas Revealer Concealer. And to set it all down, I use my Cover FX Perfect Setting powder. For bronzer and highlight, I use this Benefit Cosmetics Cheek Leader Mini Bronze Squad. I know this is old and not available anymore, but I really wanted to use the Hula Bronzer and then this Cookie Highlight. Oh my goodness gracious. So this highlight is literally probably the most blinding highlight I own. It is stunning. I just hadn't reached for this trio in a while. I didn't think that this blush would match super, super well. So for blush, I use my Nude Sticks Nudies All Over Face Color in the shade Bareback. I love this because it is a stick like cream blush, but it goes perfectly and beautifully over powder. For mascara, I use my Marc Jacobs Outlashed Baby Mini Mascara. To finish up my brows this week, I just kind of like went with the duo that I've been using, the End Cosmetics. I figure, go pick or go home, use them for the last day as well. For setting spray, I use my Jason Wu Matte Setting Spray. And then lastly, I honestly was digging my like natural lip shade with this look. So I just put on this Kaja Gloss Shot like little mini lip gloss in the shade Milk Tea. It like barely has any pigmentation at all. Yeah, it's right here. It's just really pretty and glossy. And I was like, you know what? Let's embrace the natural lip shade today and not cover it up or anything like that. So one last look at my fifth and final look. I had so much fun playing with this palette this week. I mean, I already knew I loved this palette so, so much, but just playing with it and making those five looks for you guys just kind of further reiterated my love for the love palette. Please let me know down below in the comments, what was your favorite look? I think mine was yesterday, like the grungy, cool tone, purpley look. I just really loved how that turned out. But honestly, I liked all five looks. I feel like I didn't struggle too much this week with this palette. I didn't really have like any looks that I was like, eh, I don't know. I really genuinely liked all five looks and I just, I love this palette so, so much. Also, please let me know down below in the comments if you own this palette. Did I give you a little inspiration to pull it out and use it? Or did I put it on the, your radar for you? Do you have your eyes on it now? I know it's a little bit of an older palette, so. But that is going to do it for me. That is my one week one palette with the Natasha Denona Love Palette. If you made it to the end of this video, thank you so much. You're awesome and I love you. Please subscribe if you have not yet and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye guys.